Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goobs. Hi, welcome back to Royal Goobs. What's on here? Hentai. Ah! <laughs> when I was uh, young, uh, I brought this you game. You watched a lot of hentai. Yeah, dude. I brought this game wow. to my grandma's house. And I remember she didn't like it. Um, she didn't like what? Uh, sorry. She didn't like this game. She's like, it's so vi- oh, wait. No, I do want it's to- It's so play. violent. Yeah, it's so violent. Oh, shit! Doesn't he spin around the other way sometimes? Yes. It's like 50-50? This, this is a weird boss for me. I always- Yes, there you go. You gotta smack him in the green booty. Yeah, why, why is he going so fast? Fuck. Can I even catch up to him? I... Yeah, I can. Is this the first- No, this isn't the first mini boss in the game. No. He, you have fight the Los Alphos. Yeah, and then- It's like the first, like, big- Big boss. one, yeah. Um, so, so your grandma was like, oh, it's oh, so yeah. violent. Yeah, yeah, she, I mean, she was like, why don't you play that Zelda game? Or, uh, sorry, Mario game. I like that Mario game. Oh, yeah, because that's not violent at all. Jumping and on, on shit and murdering them. It's I just mean, it's way not, more not, cartoony. Yeah, it's not that graphic, though. Oh, you bitch. Yeah. You know, I, dude, I remember when I was young, I remember going over to a, a friend's house and... Um, That's right. What you do is you get ready to slap him in the butt when he's spinning. Okay. Like that. Gotcha. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this boss always freaking confused me. I was like, when is he gonna go this way? When is he gonna go that way? Ah. Um, yeah, I remember going to a friend's house and like he had some Pokemon VHS tapes from the yeah. original show, and, like the first series or whatever. Okay. And he, like. The Kyoto region or whatever? Yeah, no, the Kanto region. Kanto region. And I remember his, his mom saying like, Man, I just really don't like him watching that. It's such a violent show. And looking back, it's like, what? Really? You think Pokemon is violent? That's not that bad. Fuck. There. Fuck. Pew. I remember my mom. Funny story. I remember when Super Smash Bros. 64 came out. My yeah. mother, uh, like, I was like six when that came out. Okay. That was like 1999, I think. Okay. Uh, like, I, w I really wanted it, but uh, my parents never ended up up getting it for me. What mm -hmm. happened was that uh, my mom saw it and she was like, I don't know, this looks really violent, James. This lo looks inappropriate. We were in a store once and I showed her the box and I was like, see, does this look that violent to you? She looked at it. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> <sighs> if only she knew the truth. That it is violent, but it's, you know, kid-friendly violence. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone knows, video games cause mass shooters. Don't open that can of worms, oh, buddy. I'm going to close that can of worms before it starts. I am just <laughs> quoting something uh, okay, our, okay. <laughs> our lovely uh, president said. Oh, really? Yeah, he made some oh. claim that uh, that uh, video games, uh, you know, promote violence and mm -hmm. make people violent. And he said it. it's uh, the reason that we have so many mass shooters. Oh, fuck He said that, that. kind of recently. Yes, I'm Jesus. just making fun of a statement. I am not trivializing anything about that subject. Begin the political debate in the comments below. Dance, my puppets. Dance for the puppet master. Just make sure to have all your conversations right here on this channel. We want you to uh, dislike this video, like this video, and comment and subscribe if you like our shit. Subscribe if you don't like our shit. If you don't like our shit, fuck you. Still subscribe. Okay. <laughs> Um, wait, what were we talking about before? Fuck. I got completely uh, just... Uh, oh, yeah, Smash Brothers and violence uh, and stuff. Uh, um, I remember my dad... There's did, a couple things I still want to get, actually. Okay. Did your parents ever, like... I want to make sure I didn't miss anything, fuck. Was there ever anything that really was okay for kids that your parents didn't let you watch or partake mm, in? That really was okay for kids... Nothing really comes to mind. Like, I tried to get them to let me play, you know, like, fucking GTA and shit like that <laughs> when I was really little. Which, okay, that's not appropriate it's for not kids. not appropriate for kids. Um, no, they, they were pretty good. I remember one time, though, they let me watch South Park when I was pretty young. Like, No, they did? Mm, like, on a fluke, basically. My dad was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. Maybe he thought it was, like, cartoony. He didn't know it that well. Mm -hmm. And I was able to watch it for like a few weeks. 
And then when he realized what it was, he's like, no, you can't watch that shit. <laughs> he didn't say that. My, my parents did not really swear growing up. Mm. Um, so you're paraphrasing. Yes, I'm paraphrasing. I'm putting it in my words. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, so, hmm. I don't know. But that was more like an inappropriate thing. I mean, I was really young. I was allowed to watch it in like middle school and shit. But. Mm, okay. I didn't start watching South Park till like ninth grade, I think. Ninth or tenth grade. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I remember when I was a kid, uh, my parents, like my dad, he, me and my sister, we would love to watch Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh yeah, I like that show a lot. Yeah, I love, I don't like that show a lot. I love that show. Uh, I, uh, uh, my dad wouldn't let us watch it for too much. Like we'd watch only like a few episodes a day and then he'd be like, okay, no more Ed, Ed, and Eddie, watch something else. Cause, really? c- cause my sister... She would always impersonate Ed. Oh. She'd always go like, ha, 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 buttered toast. Oh, I know. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, and for some reason, he's like, okay, no more watching it. And I, I'm sure there were maybe other reasons aside I mean, from that. I mean, maybe you just drove him fucking nuts. Yeah, but I don't know. It's just, hmm. I, I'm not in his shoes, so I guess I can't really speak for him, but I don't know. I don't know. I it's not really an inappropriate show. No. It's it's just kind of ugly looking, you know. It has kind of an uglyish style, a very odd style. Yeah, it does. So some people get turned off by it, I guess. Some, I, I'm sure there are some parents who are like, I "No, I can't let my kids watch this. It's just hideous and not appropriate for them." Mm. I don't know. I think I did more stuff that I wasn't shouldn't have been doing when I was young. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I mean, believe it, that it was in the infancy of the internet, right? So you're my, quite the delinquent growing up. No, not really. I didn't really get in that much serious trouble. No, I just mean you were like, like, not not in trouble. Just like, how do I explain it? Wasn't a goody two shoes. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, I never You're... did a prank phone call. I no, mean, no, as no, far you... as most kids go. No, I, I mean mischievous. Uh, I was never really that. I mean, a little bit. Yeah, I was. I was a little mischievous. All right, you know what? I'm not, not crazy though. I'm, I'm not gonna act like I know exactly what you were like as a kid. Yeah, you didn't I know did, me when I was. A kid. I didn't know you as a kid. <laughs> I never went to the principal's office. I never got suspended. I. Oh, I went to the principal's office once. There you go. See, you're the little fucker. Yeah, but it was a fucking stupid reason. I crawled under a truck once. What? Yeah. Why did you crawl under a truck? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, wow. that deserves to go to the fucking principal's office. <laughs> well, I was in third grade, and there was like for on the. And you were just like, I want to die! No, it's just... This sounds fun! There was just a truck parked on the concrete part of the playground at my school. And uh, there was just... I think there's a skull toilet. There There, there was just a... I I was playing tag with some kid. He was just chasing me around. And I was like, I gotta hide somewhere. And there was this big truck. It was just parked there. It wasn't even moving. It was just still. So I was like, okay. So I hid underneath it. Like, but then somebody, I guess one of the adults saw me and they're like, hey, what the hell is wrong with you? So I got sent to the principal's office. I think it was the vice principal that ended up talking to me. Normally vice principal is in charge of this. Yeah, so all I remember is she just said, you could have just, do you realize you could have lost your life? Seriously, blah, blah, blah. And, and that's it. Yeah. I never. Yeah, it wasn't like getting in trouble. It was just a serious talk that needed to be had. Because why the fuck would you lay under a car? But I'm. <laughs> I mean, I did that stupid shit too when I was a little kid. Like we'd play hide and go seek tag or like uh, kick the can, mm-hmm. and I would hide in the street, laying down at like eleven at night in the <laughs> middle of the street around a corner under a cul-de-sac. <laughs> like looking back on it, I'm like, holy shit! How did I not get run over? Like. That was a fucking idiot. But um, <laughs> that's just called being a kid. Yeah, exactly. Like, I didn't think anything of it. I wasn't like, Haha, yeah, I'm gonna fucking like just sit in the middle of the fucking street. Fuck adults. Yeah, fuck them. It's too bad natural selection didn't kick in and just it's too bad a car didn't run you over. Yeah, dude. Because then natural selection would have done its deed. You know. Yeah, baby. Totally. Yeah. Yep. You're talking about the truck, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's what I was talking about myself. <laughs> I, was, I, was having oh. those, I was having one of those moments where I'm like, eh, was that too dickish? Was that not funny no, in it? I'm just focusing on Because I clearly didn't mean it. It's absolutely oh, you obvious. Clearly meant it. <laughs> oh, shit, nut ass. One of these zappy mother. It looks like he has satellites. Yeah. Or, is that even a he? I don't even know what it is. Androgynous. Yes, androgynous. <laughs> There's your word of the day. 
androgynous. Do you want the definition? No. Hey, Schmoogle. Fuck off. <laughs> Baron. What the fuck? Do I just have to break all these? I don't even remember. Yep, just gotta use the boomerang. Oh, right, okay, so that was that phase. Alright, yeah, I remember. This boss was hard for me when I was little. Yeah, it was kind of a tricky one. It's it's not as hard as some of the lighter ones. This is where ones, he, though. like, starts blasting your asshole. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think I just have to run until he's, like, up again. I must say, one thing I do appreciate about, um... Oh, shit. More so Breath of the Wild than Skyward Sword. I do appreciate that there's a running gauge so yeah. that you're not constantly just rolling. Yeah. Like, like in Twilight Princess, I feel like the rolling works really good in that game. Really well. Because mm -hmm. it's so smooth and it's not just always a straight line like it is here. Yeah. It's like, you can, like, kind of turn and zigzag. Oh, and you know what game I'd also like to play on Royal Goose? Totally off topic. Yeah. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Yes, you... Yeah. You know what I was thinking, Elliot? Huh. I'm just going to share this live with everybody. I was thinking... Here's what I was thinking. I was thinking you would play all of the main console 3D... Yeah! Nice job, yeah, dude. Yeah, bitch ass. Oh, my God. Look at all the meatballs. So mm. my nipple tits. That's gross. Did it just roar? Yeah. It just went... It has a vocal cord. It doesn't have a mouth. I said it has a vocal cord. What? That makes no sense. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't know things. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, I was originally thinking, like, maybe you would play all the main console Zelda games, and I'd play all the main console Mario games, like Mario 64 or Sunshine, then you'd play Majora's Mask and blah, blah, blah. But then I realized, huh, wait a minute, you love the Gal- I love Galaxy. You love the Galaxy games. I love Galaxy! And I'm not as big a fan of them. So Give was, me some of that crack! So I was thinking you would probably play those. Yeah. If we ever did. And then... I just want to play Super Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah. And you've never played through the first one, have you? Yeah, I have. Oh, okay. Maybe not to 100% completion, but... I gave it to you as a present. You did? Yeah, I did. It was... I definitely played it. Wasn't that a birthday present I got you? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That was my copy. I was like, fuck it, I'm not going to play this. <gasps> it's Elliot's birthday present. Yay! So I gave it to him. Oh, look at this shit. Oh, Dude, French me, baby. That is some... Those are some... Bedroom eyes, if ever I did see any. Oh, baby, I'm gonna park your butt right in the chair over there and do your lap dance. <laughs> I want my spiritual stand. You mean to tell me you just want my stone? Well, it's in the form of a kidney stone. Let me hope <laughs> this passes. Zora <laughs> <sighs> Sapphire. Yeah, baby. It's funny, you know, the facial, what I was saying earlier, the facial animations in this game may not be that great, but I could still tell <laughs> Ruto there. She was definitely kind of like, oh, hey, cutie. Hey. <laughs> Hi. So they're shitty, but not too shitty. They're shitty, but not shit-hearted. <laughs> what? Shit-hearted. Too far? That's a new one. Have I gone too far? Have I crossed the line of PC? <laughs> Next time on Royal Goobs, <gasps> we won't find out. <laughs>